We all are familiar to gel electrophoresis. It is a technique for the analysis and separation of macromolecules such as nucleic acids and proteins. Today in this video lecture, we will talk about native page. We will not go into the details of its protocol, but we will fully understand the principle of this technique. Let's begin. Page stands for polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. This technique is mainly used to analyze proteins and small fragments of nucleic acids. In this lecture, we will focus on separation of proteins using PAGE. As the name indicates, we use polyacrylamide gel in this method. So, why polyacrylamide gel instead of agarose gel? The answer to this question is hidden in the average pore size of gel matrix in each case. Agarose gel has larger pores, as compared to polyacrylamide gel, which has smaller pores. Therefore, agarose gel is suitable for electrophoresis of large molecules, such as DNA. And polyacrylamide gel is suitable for the electrophoresis of smaller molecules, such as proteins. Let's now understand the various factors on the basis of which proteins get separated in polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. In PAGE, separation of proteins depend on their charge density, size, and shape. Let's first talk about charge density or charge to mass ratio of the protein molecule. We know that proteins are composed of amino acids. Each of these amino acids carries charge, either positive or negative. Also, some of them may have no charge. Thus, because of these individual charges on the amino acid residues, the protein molecule will carry an overall or net charge. Another important point here is, the net charge carried by a protein molecule depends on pH of its surroundings. So, the net charge on a protein molecule can be positive, negative or neutral at a particular pH. In gel electrophoresis, pH of the buffer is set such that, all the protein molecules at that pH will carry a negative net charge. Being negatively charged, these protein molecules will migrate to the positive electrode or anode. Suppose, there are two protein molecules in a given sample. The first one has higher charge density. And the second one has lower charge density as compared to the first. The protein molecule with greater charge to mass ratio or charge density migrates faster in the gel. Now let's talk about size and shape of protein molecules. We know proteins are of different sizes. Size is due to the number of amino acid residues in the protein molecule. This also means larger the size higher will be its molecular weight. Talking about the shapes of protein molecules, they exist in various forms such as globular, elongated etc. And this depends on, their ability to form primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structures. The extent of cross-linking and, the average pore size of the gel affects the migration of proteins of various shapes and sizes. As you can see here, larger the protein molecule, slower will be its migration. This is because, larger protein molecules become entangled in the molecular sieve formed by the gel. Compact globular proteins migrate faster than elongated proteins, of comparable molecular weights. So, we now understand that, in page, Migration of proteins depend on the combination of multiple factors. These are charge density, size, and shape of the protein molecules. Here, you must have noted that the protein molecules remain in their native form, or in other words, they remain intact. This type of page in which intact proteins in a sample are separated is known as native page. This method is preferred when our requirement is to detect a particular protein on the basis of its biological activity. 
for example, separation and detection of enzymes. Protein electrophoresis using native page has also some limitations. For example, native page is not suitable for determination of molecular weights of proteins. In the next video lecture, we will study modified page technique known as STS page. Thank you for watching.